guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cute little Easter egg basket look for this upcoming Easter Sunday I saw someone on Instagram do this and I cannot figure out who it was so if you know please tag them in this but anyway I'm starting with two coats of nude nail polish and then I'm taking a darker brown and doing this woven basket look basically you just draw two lines horizontally and then two lines vertically on top of that and you kind of just repeat that all over the nail. This design looks a lot more complicated than it actually is, but as you can see, it is fairly simple. And once you do that on however much of your nail you want, you can go all the way up, but I just stayed kind of a little bit less than halfway. You're gonna fill in the little squares right here where the lines meet up. And once that part is done, I drew a line a little bit curved to resemble a basket, so that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm taking some green nail polish and drawing grass in the basket. I started by doing a lighter green and then going on top with a darker green just to give it a little bit of shade and dimension. So since you're using thin coats, it should dry fairly quickly and then you can go ahead and start drawing your eggs. I'm just using different colored pastel polishes and doing sort of half circles in different sizes and then just filling them in. So I'm just doing some a little bit bigger than others just to make it look like eggs are piled on top of each other, I guess. I just thought it looked better this way than doing them all the same length and the same size. You can finish the design off right here after you've drawn your eggs, but I wanted to give them a little bit more dimension. So I took a darker shade of each of the colors and just outlined them just to make them stand out a little bit more. And if you drew your eggs a little too far over that brown line, you can go ahead and take a brush and just recreate that line like I'm doing here. And then I added some white just to give a little bit more light and dimension again. And then I went ahead and added a shiny top coat and I thought it would look a little bit better matte, so I added a matte top coat over them but you can keep them shiny or you can keep them matte however you like. And that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great Easter and I'll see you in my next video.